Hello and welcome back to No Man's Sky, everybody. Elon Paul here with your anomaly mission for the weekend of October 25th through 27th. Um, yeah, coming out a bit late this weekend, isn't it? Um, as you all know, I was doing a live stream on Friday, which pretty much occupied all of my uh, recording time that night. Uh, and Saturday basically was a wash. I started out with a migraine and then uh, ended up with an entire family day planned all the way through the late evening hours. So didn't get a chance to do any recordings until this morning. So yeah, sorry about that, folks. But uh, hopefully this video is reaching you folks in good health. And hopefully everybody's doing really well and maybe playing around with the Cursed Expedition. Um, really interesting expedition. I hope you are all enjoying it. It is a tough one. It is kind of creepy looking at everything like that. So anyway, we are just getting started with my game today. Uh, there we go. Graphics are slowly filling back in. And yeah, we're back. Yay. Okay, good. So let's go head over to the anomaly. I have no idea what system I'm in, so I'm not going to worry about that. But let's go ahead and head out and pull in the anomaly and see what our mission is for today. There we go. Excellent. All right, and of course, as usual, we'll check out the uh, Quicksilver vendor, we'll see where we are with our grabs and everything like that, things that we're opening up. Check it all out. I have no idea what it thinks I've achieved. That's funny. <laughs> all right, there's our blue mission icon. Blue screen, I guess, I don't know. Uh, well, what do you know? It's my favorite. Collecting 750 Fecium. As you all know, that is one of my favorite types of missions. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, first thing I'm going to check is inside my exosuit, do we have food? We do. We have plenty. Alright, I'm just going to create a little bit more. There we go. Just in case we need it. There are a couple different ways we can get this done. Alright, as usual, it'll kick us out of the anomaly, and we will go to a new system. So, two ways we can do this. Obviously, animals. Animals are the big way to get it. You can feed the animals, you wait a little bit. The animals, you know, they defecate all over the surface of the planet, and you can go ahead and gather it all up. There are certain planets, too, that also contain deposits of it. So, if you have such a planet in this system, you might be able to get away with gathering it that way. Alright. Didn't want to run right into an asteroid field. We're just going to go ahead and sit here for just a moment while it tells us where the planet is we're going to. Okay. It's not going to point. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Alright, so that's the planet in question. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into first person mode here. We're going to take a look at it. So, activated indium is what the main item on that planet is. Uh, looks like we got a planet here. We're just going to check them out real quick. One right in front of us, of course. And if we're fortunate, one of these will have it, but probably not, it looks like. No nope, ancient bones on that one. Okay, so we were not fortunate enough to land in a system with it. So we'll have to just stick to the what we call plan one. Uh, just like similar missions, this one does not require you to land in a specific spot. The good news about this particular planet that we're looking at here, um, activated indium, so it's gonna have storms. We're gonna have to watch out for that. Um, what I would recommend is we're gonna hit head to the daylight side of the planet. At least, you know, maybe it'll be, uh, oh, it's mountainous too. All right, let's head closer to the coast. Is there ocean? Oh, okay, this might get a little bit better. Yeah, we got some planes down here. All right, this will work. Strange looking planet, huh? 
Yeah, this will work. Let's go ahead and land down here. Okay. So here we go. Wait a minute, it changed. It changed. Hold on. Now it changed to activated indium. It looks like we don't have to get Vseam after all. It needs a thousand of it. All right, and I notice it's also not noticing any that's in my inventory to begin with, so they've changed that as well. So, all we need to do is look for that activated indium. What did we get fortunate, huh? Uh, 490, right there. Uh, looks like we have an unknown building nearby, too. So, oh, vault. Oh, yeah, it's actually pointing right where we need to go. 470 again, up on a hill. Those two seem to be the best deposits. Let's go ahead and go to this one over here. This looks like we got a building nearby over there. We can always call on the ship. So this is a hot planet, as you can see, with the selenium. Of course, it's always it's pretty obvious. <clears throat> so make sure you have the proper protection. Of course, with a nice storm present or something like that, your jetpack is, like, unlimited. So I'm going to go ahead and take it this way. It doesn't look like the animals are angry. That's a good thing. Okay, good. One less thing we have to worry about. Same thing with the Sentinels. Doesn't look like we have any problems with Sentinels. Uh, this one's on a slope. I believe. Oop, careful, careful. Oh, oh. Don't look at the plants. And there's our building. Our building happens to be a monolith. Go figure. All right. Let's see if this is a real deposit. Doesn't look like it might be. Oh, it's an ugly, ugly, disgusting deposit. See, there's only a little bit of blue in here. So we'll get some activated indium, but it ain't going to be enough to write home to mother about. Okay. All right. Yeah, there's nothing here. Let's go take another look around, shall we? So there's the one that's beyond our ship. Uh, let's see. Yeah, another one a little bit over there. Okay. Let's go ahead and head back. Before we do, I'm going to go ahead and recharge my thermal protection. Oh, it's just a point. It's one of the relics. Okay, it's not a monolith after all. No big deal. All right, so let's head on this way. Hit the water fast enough, and you can actually go faster than you would running without using your jetpack. And the water apparently cools you off, too. So this one is higher up. We're going to have to actually fly up to this one, I think. Yeah, it looks like we're going to have to get up there. Hopefully it's on the surface. So what I'll do is I have it selected, right? Yes, I do. Okay. So that way when I get my ship, I can just go to it. Right. Ah, see, another terrible looking deposit. All right, so let's go look for one, shall we? And of course, we're not going to be able to find anything because now it's getting all cloudy. This is a really annoying mission. Let's check something out real quick. So, this is the planet we're on, right? Do any of these planets have activated indium? No, we're on the only planet in the system. Of course, it is. All right. Let's go ahead and land again. Take another look around. So this is going to be a lot of landing and picking up. Landing, picking up. Mainly because of the mountains. If it was a very... Uh, if it was more flatter atmosphere or something like that, we'd be in good shape. So that's the ones I have not checked yet. 600 away. Let's see. Alright, let's go check this one out. Looks like there's one even closer by to it. And, oh, hey, storm crystals are here too, guys. So stock up on your storm crystals if you've been running a little low on those. Yep, I can't even imagine if it's not clear. It looks like we're on a slope. Okay. Alright, so let's go down a little bit. You can see as much as I can. I just want you to know that.
literal soup. Literal soup. You can't see a blessed thing. Let's go over by these things. At least they're like a beacon in the night here. Found a spot we can land, finally. No idea where we are in relation to it. Let's find out. Oh, I love these storms, don't you? Got one a thousand away. I think that's the one we were heading towards. Oh, there's the other one. Well, there's one a little bit closer. Let's check this one out first, and we can check that one out since they're close by. I've never seen a storm so thick that you can literally don't... You aren't able to see anything. I'll go ahead and grab those, because I can always use that. A couple extras every now and then. Now, alternatively, guys, you can always wait until after the storm passes if you have time of your... I'm on your own to do so. Finally, I think we're close enough I can see it. And hopefully it's a halfway decent deposit for once. I think I can see something. Isn't this crazy? There we go. Making sure my... Uh, yeah, it is actually a pretty decent deposit here. You can tell by just the outcome of the blue. And finally, my protection's going back down again. All right, so we need to collect a thousand of this. So we're in our smallest setting, so we can gather as much as we can. Yep. I could trim the video up a little bit and say, hey, I'll be right back. But you know what? I'm tortured through this. You're going to be tortured through this, too. The only blessing I seem to have is that there's no wind events. So, that's good. That's usually a cue for the system to go ahead and start indicating that I have a wind event. Or maybe a meteor shower. Yeah, that would be pretty cool. Always keep your weapon charged. Well, in this case, it's not a weapon. It's a tool, right? We'll get there. Talk amongst yourselves. That weather's pretty good here, too. Not on this planet. But in general. <laughs> My character is getting... is not exactly in a flat spot right now. I think we got it all shooting because I can't see. Alright, so how much did we end up with? I have no way of knowing. 489 it looks like. So we got almost 500 out of this particular deposit. So the next one is really close by. 200 away. So we'll take, we'll check that one out. And, that, well, that's the one I'm at. Silly. Alright, good. We'll go to this one. If I can get out of the hole. There we go. Pretty long-lasting storm. Being in one of these heat storms, too, your jetpack is more efficient. Well, it's about stinking time. Again, this one's on, they're on the side of a mountain here, so hopefully it's a pretty decent deposit. Ah, yes it is. Sometimes the ones on the side of the mountain are actually better deposits than others. So what I'm going to try to... Oh, I guess uh, storms are frequent here. There we go. Made myself a little standing spot. 
I don't see the temperature going up, so I don't know. Maybe that was just a... Nope, it's going up again. We're getting in the middle of another storm. Wow. Well, okay then. So there's something you'll have to be aware of. There Apparently the storms here have random time limits set, and they last a long time, and they immediately start back up again. And it's a little toasty at 575 degrees Fahrenheit. Probably one of the hottest planets I've been on. I'm pretty sure even this metal should be melting and pretty much all the rocks around me. But that's okay. I think the rocks actually melt at a higher, much higher temperature. But that's okay. Wow. Yeah. So we're carving this out. So we're at 800 right now, as you can see by the counter on the right side. Through another, another run of my terrain manipulator. It's okay, I carry plenty of silicate powder with me. 900, all right, we're almost there. Used to be the most expensive substance you could get. But uh, ever since it's been nerfed a few uh, updates ago. This is about two years ago I think they nerfed it. Yeah. There we go. We did it. Alright. And my ship is over that way. But I'm going to just find a spot to land at. Like That looks like a good spot. Wow. Okay. That was pretty good. There we go. Can't land there. Give me a break. Uh, let me just check something here. Nope. It is definitely not a Corvax system. Okay. Alright. So we need to scan. Looks like it's over this way. Uh, that one cleared a lot quicker. Alright, so this one does not appear to be giving me any problem with sentinels wow that was just like the whole time in soup mmm soup kinda hungry instead I'll just take a drink of coffee ah nice volcanoes very nice oh it's an approximate location Looks like... Let's keep turning. Keep turning. I see nothing. Fascinating. Closest building is all the way over there. That makes no sense. Well, maybe it is. Ah, landing platform. Of course, this is going to be it. Okay. Okay. Free parking. At least there's that much. And there it is. Yep, see? Our icon popped up at the terminal there. Alright, we got this. And we can finally complete. Ah, oh, Viking system it is. Alright, got it. Delivery, delivery lockbox repaired. Accessing. This must be Polo Secure Lockbox. I should deposit the item and register my delivery. So, I'm going to deliver 750, even though we had to, to uh, pick up 1,000. So... It gives you a little extra. It's kind of like your tip. Alright, so that part's done. We just got to return to the anomaly and to the nexus and get our reward. Off we go. I think I left my headlamp on. <laughs> Alright, well, no big deal. Alright, uh, let's get off this awful, awful planet. Some people like those kind of planets. That one is just very, very awful. You know, space is pretty wide. It's amazing how many ships pop into existence right in front of your nose. Maybe I'm in a trade lane. I don't know. All right. Ooh, good parking. One of my favorite parking spaces. All right. Let's go in and turn in our mission and see what we get. 
All right, so we're getting our Quicksilver and 15 Wiring Looms. I could use those, to be honest with you. I'm starting to run a little bit low on them. Uh, doing Galaxy Hunts as well. So there we go. There's our 15 Wiring Looms. A little extra Quicksilver for the pocket. Let's check and our check in with our Quicksilver Bender. Exotic items. And as you can see, the fireworks have all been opened up. Tier 3 is complete. So that's done. Um, did I miss something? I must have missed something here. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. I did. So we've got our other fireworks here. I'm going to go ahead and collect one beach. Uh, we also got our decals. And paw prints. There we go. There's a bunch of other stuff in here I haven't never gotten yet. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm sure I've gotten it at some point or another. Uh, but we do have our first tier open so far. Second tier will be finishing up here pretty soon. And then the third tier probably by the end of the expedition. So keep an eye on that. Remember this expedition is really, really short, folks. So you've only got about, say, two weeks or so. Um, one thing I haven't gotten here. Let's go ahead and check out the expedition rewards. And here's how you get your expedition rewards. So if you want to, you can also go through and look at the expeditions themselves. There we go, Expedition 16. So you can, I can get the new ship if I'd like. I can get a glowing egg, the mandibles. That looks pretty creepy. And the anomaly seal for certain systems. And you can get your new ink-stained trail from your jetpack. So these are the things that you can get as well as, you know, the posters and the glyphs, uh, or me the posters and the decals and stuff like that, banners. All right, so there you are, guys. Um, get them all here. You can also use your main save, which I will be doing here soon, uh, to go through the expedition as well at the expedition terminus. As you can see, there it is, the cursed. Ten days remaining. Ah, now we have, I didn't realize the terminal here actually gave it to us in days. So we have ten days remaining. That means that this expedition is going to run through... Let's do the math on that. That's going to run through a Wednesday. So that's actually going to go through all of next week and the following Wednesday. Um, that's interesting. Very interesting. Uh, it makes me think of a couple different things as far as the live streams are concerned. So we'll be talking about that later. All right. Well, that should take care of our video for today, guys. Let's head back over to the ship. I think it's over here. There it is. Head back over to the ship and give our save point. Because remember, it hasn't been saving anything. And now we have a restore point. See, there we go. All right, guys. So I'm going to say goodbye to everybody right now. I want to thank you all. Please hit the like and subscribe buttons. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down there and I'll get back to you. Take care, everybody. We'll see you next time.